Deadline to file your taxes coming up in April. Mm -hmm. We have some tips this morning from our good friend Crystal Faulkner of MCM CPA Partners. Good to see you, Crystal. Thank you. So the first thing you wanted to talk about today are some deductions that taxpayers might overlook and, and they're costing themselves money, right? Absolutely, Sheila. Many of us actually invest in mutual funds where the dividends automatically get reinvested. So when it comes time to sell those mutual funds, don't forget to add the cost basis, that additional cost basis mm -hmm. of those reinvested dividends because that will reduce your overall gain. And then charitable contributions. Many of us remember those contributions that come out of our checkbook or that are on our credit card, but you know, little things add up. For mm -hmm. example, the costs that you may incur for a nonprofit, say food you buy to, to donate to a food kitchen, or some of the costs even that you may incur for your children's school and certainly mileage. And then college student loan interest. We all know what a big problem that is in our mm -hmm, country right yeah. now. So if, if mom and dad pay some of the student loan for a child that can no longer be claimed as their dependent, then the student can actually take that deduction if they qualify. It's treated as if the parents gave the child the money. Oh, okay. excellent, excellent. Uh, you also uh, say we should pay attention to life changes. Absolutely. If you got a new job, you may have incurred some costs to travel to go interview or resume costs. Those are deductible as long as it's not your first job straight out of school. However, if you are a recent grad and you move you have to move for your first job, you can deduct the moving expenses if you can qualify for the, there's some uh, mileage tests and so forth. That's not okay. moving across town, that's moving, moving yeah, to that's another different. city. Okay. Uh, tell us about some of the tax credits that, that we should be aware of because a credit is even better than a deduction, right? That's right. We I learned that from you. We love deductions. <laughs> they reduce taxable income, yeah. but credits reduce your tax dollar for dollar. Yeah. Many people participate in child and dependent care plans at work, you know, those flexible spending right. accounts, mm -hmm. but usually the maximum amount that you can take out of those is 5000 but the law allows you to have $6,000 of qualifying expenses if you have two more kids. Okay. So that extra $1,000 can also qualify for a credit and then certainly educational credits. I know we both have college students and mm -hmm. we're aware of the, the uh, credits for a child in college, but if you wanna go back and just take some courses to fine tune your skills, there may be some credits available as well. Okay. All right, uh, great advice and we'll try and get those on our website, local12.com. Great. Yep.